the vibrations of the vocal folds are moving slower. If you get to the point where you're really, really low. Forget the rules, forget what everyone tells you about timbre, tone, cadence, pitch, and all that fluff, all that stuff which is just purely analytical jargon. Those words will not help you improve or change or deepen your voice. But what will help you deepen your voice are the three things I'm going to go through today. Hit the like button, subscribe, hit the notifications bell, and let's get into it. Step one. Vocal folds, aka vocal cords. You must have heard them called that before. The thickness of your vocal folds and the length of your vocal folds will have an increased ability to affect how deep you sound. If you consider them like muscles, the bigger, the beefier, longer, fatter they, they are, usually the deeper the sound because these are going to vibrate and they tend to vibrate slower if they're longer and the, and, and the speed of the vibration has a lot to, to do with the depth of the sound, the pitch. And whilst we can't change our biology, we can adopt habits to improve the functionality and not mimic thicker, longer chords, but actually find more relaxation in our vocal apparatus, which will help deepen the sound of our voice. Stress, tension, tightness restricts the muscles around the vocal folds. And this tension reduces the opportunity to hit lower notes and find lower pitches. So finding relaxation around the vocal apparatus is key to helping us find a more permanent solution to the lower voice that we can achieve. So the larynx, which is this uh, cartilage here that houses our vocal folds, essentially it's very delicate. And so any tension in the larger muscles and around head, neck and shoulders are gonna have a, an effect on those tinier muscles that will attach to this cartilage and therefore have um, an impact on how our vocal folds function. So the first key secret is to maintain a relaxed body, like on my online courses. <laughs> So things that are going to help the optimal function of your vocal apparatus and, and you know this area that houses your vocal folds is going to be staying hydrated, um, warming up, uh, relieving tension, sleeping better and all of these things I made into a video the other day that you can go through as part of your routine. You can check it out here. When you wake up in the morning, do you ever notice that your voice is deeper? I do, and in fact many people do, because your body is more relaxed after a good night's sleep, hopefully. Um, and what happens throughout the day, we start adding tension into our bodies through our daily ergonomics and the stresses we put on ourselves. This then has an, an effect on our voice. So if you're someone who can feel strain, for example, or somebody who always feels that their, their voice isn't as optimum as it could be and they want to create, uh, attain and maintain a deeper voice, Finding ways to keep your body in that more relaxed state so that your vocal apparatus remains unaffected by that tension is going to be key in ensuring that you're, you sound deeper more of the day than just the morning when you wake up. So leading on from this reduced tension around your vocal apparatus is to consider the space within your body. Okay, so this is step two, resonance. Resonance is essentially the sound of the vibrations that are made by your vocal folds and how they move out of your body. What we can take away from this is that if that space is bigger, we get a deeper sound. It's worth understanding that even though we, we are born the way we are with the bodies we have, there is some movement. We are able to deepen sounds we are able to move because a lot of a lot of things that are going on inside us uh, and these resonating chambers are adaptable they're able to fluctuate and and um and be create we can create more space and by creating more space we can have a deeper voice than we might be used to having uh again largely due to uh, tension in our bodies but we can start to train these muscles to become more limber and one of the best exercises you can possibly do to help enable a deeper voice or understanding how to create uh, these reson resonating chambers to become larger and therefore have a deeper sound in your voice is yawning. <sighs> 
Now you can try yawning just as an exercise on its own. Uh, just doing it throughout the day. Uh, spending some time. Uh, you don't have to put sound into it. <sighs> if you didn't yawn just then, you're a psychopath. Yawning opens up so many spaces between our vocal apparatus and our mouth that it, it kind of contracts and expands and helps almost in a sense to exercise these muscles. And if they're exercised, they know they can sort of, they, you, they can manipulate it to become larger. There's a, there's a technique that I've heard, and people do this for learning to speak English accents, like RP, and that's to imagine that you've got a plum in the back of your mouth. Now, this is almost like a half yawn. So if you continue to have a half yawn, and imagine you've got a plum in the back of your mouth, there's a space that opens up. Listen to the difference of my voice when I do this. From now and then here, all of a sudden it sounds like it's rounder, richer, it's bigger. And my accent slightly changes, but it does change your accent. Now, if I can just bring it back, create the yawn, oh, and try to speak in my normal voice. Um, yeah, try and relax it then. You don't want to hold this tension. You want to sort of create that space, yawn, find that change, and then just uh, relax back to how you were. And just do this a little, you know, a, a few times every day. Practice it, play with it when no one else is around if it's embarrassing. And what will happen is you're just going to engage your muscles in a certain way that they'll learn to be able to adapt when you want to use them. And this is giving you options. So over time, I think these kind of exercises can help you develop uh, a more resonant, rich voice because you'll learn to understand your body and you'll find what feels good and doesn't create tension. Yeah, yawning is perfect, it's really good. Try it. The next little secret or step, as whatever, whatever we're calling them, is breath, breathing. The it, It's interesting to understand, there's a lot of talk about not doing any shallow breaths, but I don't really know anyone who does that. <gasps> really, do you? Do you do that? Uh, I'm not gonna tell you off for it, because clearly, if you do do that, then you've, uh, there's, there's probably good reason and you've got into bad habits, but but the breath is what powers the voice. It powers, it creates the vibrations in your vocal folds in the first place. And then that breath then, uh, it, you know, vibrates around your resonating chambers out into the world. And so this idea of a deep voice is essentially a resonant voice and to create some resonance, we also want to keep our belly relaxed. This is the key thing. If you are trying to show everyone that you have a six pack, you're probably not going to have as deep a voice as you could if you just let it all go. If you want to get a six pack, fine, do it, but then find some relaxation in your belly afterwards. We also get tension uh, in our backs. If you get tension in your back, um, that could also be hindering you breathing deeper and lower into your body. People call it diaphragmic breathing and they say that you're not breathing into your diaphragm, you're breathing into your shoulders. But we are always breathing into our diaphragm because if we didn't, then we wouldn't be breathing because that is the main breathing muscle. It just so happens that we're not doing enough with it when we're lifting our shoulders up. We're sort of creating space in a different way. We wanna create space by moving the organs out of the way, pushing them down, which is exactly what the uh, diaphragm does as it draws in air. So we want to draw in air, because when we do draw that air in lower, deeper, some say to their bellies, but I like to say to your back, opening up the back. So those intercostal muscles, those rib muscles start getting to work. Finding that relaxation in your belly, but breathing into your back will help the air power back out. If you take in, in, in a good full amount of air, you won't have to breathe out or think about speaking. Uh, it will just come. And just remember this. Lower voices don't use as much air. In fact, if you use less air when you're speaking out, you will eventually sound lower. And that's because the vibrations of the vocal folds are moving slower. If you get to the point where you're really, really low, you can hear the of the vibrations 
And then if I go up to my normal speed, the pitch, they're just moving faster. And that's essentially how it goes. And the air powers that. So finding a way to breathe lower, relax your belly, and just slow down the air. Speak a little quieter. You can eventually, with the resonance, get more volume. And you can use other ways to get volume at a lower pitch, like trying to fart, but we'll probably go over that another day. This is good enough for you to find a way into achieving, understanding, achieving, and then maintaining a deeper voice. Okay, so let's just recap over those three things. Vocal folds, you wanna find relaxation in your head, neck and shoulders, which you can find on my online courses, which I now have a subscription model for, so you can all afford it. Hey. Come along to my website at improveyourvoice.com or vocabilities.com, it both works, and sign up for a month and check out what's available there, because there are gonna be some exercises that will help you train, gain and maintain a more resonant, rich, clear, articulate voice. And that's fantastic because that's going to serve you in life. It's going to be on your side and you don't have to sign up for a lifetime um, uh, payment anymore so you can afford it. All right. No excuses. I hope this helps and I hope that explains sort of what you can work on and what you can think about. And if you need any sort of further assistance with any of those, you'll find them on this channel. So take a look around or come to my website. Don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe button and the notifications bell so you can find out when new videos are coming up and they will be coming up more often now because I'm trying to reboot the algorithm of this channel. It's just died off. Um, and so thank you for staying with me this far. My name's Darren McStay. This is Improve Your Voice. And until the next time, look after your voice. Bye.